genooi vir vanoe. Afspraak met die koning van die konings. Nie met Karen nie, nie met Sonja nie, nie met Karen nie, nie met die Oulans jou nie. Jy het een afspraak met die koning van die konings. Want hy die prijs betaal. Vanavond wil ek jou sê, die kruis het nie sy kracht verloor nie. Die getuienis wat Jezus aan daar die kruis gedoen het, is nog steeds net so sterk soos die oomlik, toe hy dit gedoen het. Amen! Dit is net jou kees, wat jy dit vat, of wat jy dit nie vat nie. Halleluja! Maar kom ons sê, dit gaan gaan een paar goedkies, ek wil vir allemaal sê, wat op Facebook live gaan inskakel, wat gevra het, ek moet dit doen, baie welkom, en ek glo ook, dat elkeen geblees gaan wees, dier die woord, wat die Heere vir elkeen sy hart voorbereid het. Ek wil graag hee, ons moet ons oor buig, en as ek sê oor buig, wil ek hee, ons moet nederig wees, ons moet skop buig, moet ons oor onhert. Vader, ek bid hier waar ons elkeen sit met die verwachting in die haar, dat jy sal kom en elkeen boe natuurlijk sal anraak. Ek bid hier hier waar ek staan, op hierdie kruis, wat hier staan, hierdie hierdie verf een kruis maak, heren, dat ek graag hier sal manifesteer vanavond, dat ek van hier af sal riek en draai en maal en begin beweeg, heren, dat dit sal groei, dit sal die hospitaal slaan, heren, dit sal die mol slaan, dit sal die graad slaan, dit sal die huise slaan, dit sal beweeg gemaak, en wie ook al moor op hierdie grond loop, wat een siekte het, wat ongesteld is, heren, sal voel daar as een roering in die geest, en dit sal onmiddellik een geneesing ontvang, heren, siel geest en licht, Heere, wat toe of drie saamstem, sê jy woord, so sal dit wees. Ek bid vir elke siek meen in daar die hospitaal, heere, man, vrou, kind, of dit een oom of een tanie is, heere, vir die titel of die titel het, heere, ek roep hulle elke een sy siel, en tot die liefde van Jesus, tot bekering is hulle nie is nie, die wat tot bekering al daas, wat jy dien, heere, roep ons nie net tot dit nie, maar tot groter dinge, ons spreek geneesing vir elke een wat daar le, heere. Dank jy, Jesus. Vader, daar die een dat jy nou nog vir gewees het, wat baie nawe is, om uit te gaan, Heere, jy wees die hart en ons roep geneesing, en ons staan op die woord vir geneesing, Vader. Niks minder nie, elkeen wat jy is, Heere, vraag dat jy die hart sal voorbereid, Heere, want elke een is met een versoekie, elke een is met een verwachting, Heere, en dan ask, Vader, dat jy wil stuur them in the spirit, to receive what God is for you, and for her. Vader, thank you that I can praise your mighty name. Amen. Ek wil eerst met God, ga bykie iets net strijd sit, die so, terwijl ons hier so is, en ek sluit ons met Afrikaans en Engels, want weet jy wat, ons gaan nie kansel talie praat, en hoog dat niemand dit verstaan nie, ons is kinders van die Heere, en ons praat ons as wat ons om het, ek is die Heere baie boelike tyd, en dit is een getuienis, my ou getuienis was, ek was een dronk verslaafde gewees, ek was bezig om dood te gaan, en die Heere het vir my gered, en hy het my opgerig en opgelig, en vir baie lang het dit goed gegaan, en ek het een groot getuienis, maar weet jy wat, hy het nie sy kracht verloor nie, want ek kan nog steeds mense bemoedig, maar so gee die Heere vir ons elke dag een nieuwe getuienis, dis al nieuwe jene, ek is in die tijdperk gewees, en daar dinge in my leven gebeur, en geloof vir my, Corrie, Sonja, draai ek jylle om vanavond, die so kyk machtig man, dankie vir die geleendheid wat jylle vir my gee, want ek wil vir jylle sê, die tyd waar dier ek is nie, is een baie moeilike tyd, en as baie besluide wat ek moes neem, wat baie seer is. En die hartseer is dat die mens klippe gooi. Die mens boulis gooi. Die mens wat nie weet wat is wat nie, is makkelijk om in een posiesie te staan en te sê, maar jy is een pastoor. Kijk wat het jy gaan doen? Wat kom ek vir julle sê? En ek wil julle eerst vraag, denk julle dat God vergeef nog? Amen. Denk julle dat hy maak nog vry? Dink jylle dat hy restaureer dit wat stikkend is. Natuurlijk. Dan wees die mens om enig iets anders te sê. Amen. Wat met die klip staan wil ek vandag sê. Jy sonder sonde tel die eerste klip op. Jy ken nie die story nie, jy ken nie my skoende nie. Jy weet nie wat is wat nie. Daar is twee partije en al die partije dien nog die Heere. Al die partije het besluit om te aan te gaan wat hulle voor geroep is. Al die partije het besluit om op te staan en te doen dit wat recht is en wat die Heere vir hulle gee. So vanavond staan ek hier en ek het eerst wat ek Heere, ek kan nie hierdie ding doen. Ek is jammer, ek is kwaai. Ek is daar. En Sonja praat met my, sê sê vir nie, 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 wil jy nie kom bedien nie. Corrie sê, kom bedien. Ek sê, Heere, ek sien nie kans, ek het hierdie hoog kool, ek trek nie wat soos een vraagteken in mekaar in. En ek bid en die Heere sê, as ek het jou geroep, en ek beveel jou om op te staan. 
Amen! En dis wat ek doen. Halleluja! Maak die saak wat sy klippe kom nie, maak die saak hoe ek gestenig word nie, of dit met die tong is, en of partij mense kom en so my lelike goed gooi, yes. is ok. Amen. By God is ek skoon. Yes. En dis wat saak maak. En ek wil met dit begin, hoekom? Want elkeen van ons hier het een story. Elkeen van ons hier het een verlede. Want nou nou, drie minuten terug is jou verlede. Dis nie jou nieuwe toekomst nie. En die Heere bring ons op een plek wat hy sê, ek wil jou leer, ek wil jou losmaak, maar jy moet my toelaat. En jy sê die Heere vir my amazing woord, en jy sê hier is een lekker woord, en volgend kom die Heere en hy change om, hy sê nee, dis nie wat jy gaan doen nie. Toe ek my advertentie maak, toe sê die Heere vir my skryf daar, to break religion barriers, en dis nou baie lang wat ek met die ding loop, dis een woord wat ek 6 jaar terug gekry het, by Anthony, en hy sê, kom by my, hy sê vir my, God has called you to break religion barrier in nations, en ek het nooit geweet wat dit beteken nie, die vaand het gekom to kill, steal and destroy, but God, God came to give life and life in abundance, maar dit is jou kies of jy dit gaan vat, en ek sta nou nou daar, en ons is bezig om die eerste liekie te sing, en ek voel hierdie wind wat voorbij my kom, en ek voel die teenwoordigheid van die heilige gees, en hy sê, the church has left the building. Halleluja! En ek sta nou vanavond op dit, we gonna break religion barriers. The church has left the building, why? Because God has said so, en is God so sê, wie is ek en jy om te strijd? As ons moet behaag, behaag ons God of behaag ons die wens? We are here to praise God, not men. We are here to give a sacrifice to God, not to men. We are here to sacrifice ourselves to God, not to men. Because he has sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for you and for me. And he said to us that if you accepted me into your life, I will set you free. I will live inside of you. And I will bring you to a place that you can be a testimony to my witness that I, what I've done in your life. So the choice is yours. You're going to shut up or you're going to say something. But I decided to speak. And after tonight you decided to speak, you stand up and say, I live for Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit oh, is inside of me. I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to make a noise for Jesus. He showed me many things and he showed me a few things. He took me to Matthew 6.33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and the rest will be added to you. He doesn't say seek first money. Seek first the nice things and dresses and the makeup and the clothes and the cars and the jewelry and buildings. No. He said first seek me. Why? Because the fullness of the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives inside of you if you accepted Jesus as your Savior. Then when you are seeking His presence and you're seeking the Father and you have a relationship with Him, He comes and He says, my child, I want to bless you. You remember that promise I have given you three years back? I want to bless you, my sister. There's something God has shown you a long time ago and you said, ah, oh, it didn't come yet. It's not going to come. I'm telling you. He shows me it's coming. Take it, Mike, make it yours. Sit it in your heart. I say, in the heart, everything flows from the heart. Alles wat goed en sleg is, kom uit die hart uit. Loop by die mond uit. Wat by die oog ingaan, en by die oor ingaan, gaan le in die hart. So we have to look after our heart. And sometimes, people breaks it. Sometimes, circumstances break it. Sometimes, things happen in your life. You've been molested. You've been going through a divorce. You've been in a car accident. People are stealing from you. You've been in the worst of worst places and you're feeling lower than... <clears throat> at a stage of my life, I was standing at the crossing in front of Bailbuck at the robot and I was begging for money. I was about four sizes bigger than I am now. Maybe five. No money, no food, nothing. I was a full-blown alcoholic and I was begging for money. But he came and he saved the soul. He saved a wretch like me. How much more can he do for you? Isn't he able to do much more than you ask him? Because you seek him first. Then the rest. We can look at the cross, but we need to remember what Jesus has done for you and for you and for you. But we take it sometimes so in vain. Let me just get my paper. If 
I ask you, how many of you have disappointment in this last three weeks? I think almost everybody can say, I've been disappointed. I don't agree with what happened. It hurt me and it disappointed me. I feel this madness. It is quiet, man. It is very quiet. It is bitter. But it is sheer cry. What do we While we are having a relationship with the King of Kings, at the same time, we allow the enemy to come and knock at our door and say, Ah, oh, yeah, you're not good enough. You will not make it. Rather leave. Los net alles. Wat het hy vir my gesê? Hierdie ding gaan jou hond en jou jaag vir die rest van jou lewe. Los dit nie. En ek sê vir die vriendin, ek sê van, weet jy, ek denk ek moet nou maar terug gaan in die sekulare wereld. I think I must go and work. Be a butcher girl and maybe again. Or do something. But that's not my calling. It was what I had to do to stay alive. But when God called me, He called me by my name. When He called you, He called you by your name and He says, You are mine. Psalm 139, He has wonderfully, fearfully woven you together in the womb of your mother. Amen. So who am I and you to say we are not good enough? We will not make it when He has chosen you, when He has woven you together, when He has set a destiny there for you. And he said, I will help you if you believe me. I will help you if you trust me. I will help you if you seek me. I will help you if you go on your knees and say, Father, I cannot do this anymore. If you humble yourself before me and renounce your sins, which is standing between you and me, the iniquities that standing between you and me, I will write that my righteousness hand, will, uh, hand of righteousness will help you. That's not awesome here, Amen. That's a little bit sin. Es sei nie wunderbar, es sei nie wunderbar, es sei nie wunderbar, ja, hey, es wunderbar, es sei nie wunderbar. Es ist nie amazing, nie. He is amazing. He is God, but he wants to set you free. To break religion barriers, we need to come to a place to accept who we are. That we are not flawless. Was Mark Fouter betek jy groot foute. Ons slaat die trekkie, die teer, die pale, ons slaat ons neese stikkend. Dit voel jy kan nie meer nie. Maar dis waar jy leer, when you down and out, God is busy working. When you cannot anymore, God is busy working. Wanneer jy jou beloftes vergeet het, is God bezig. Behind the scenes, he's sending the angels, to collect what he wants you to have. But you need to decree it. You need to declare it. Because faith comes by hearing. So if I tell you, my sister, God is a promise of my life. I want to tell you my testimony. What do I do? I remind myself by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony that there's a promise on my life. There's a promise on your life. That's why your testimony is very important. That's why we come up a place and we come up with good what plan. Ons moet klaar maak, ek wil net so draai, ek kan nie lekker sien nie, jylle, nog die brille ook op, nie. I want to take you to Isaiah 59 verse 2. But your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God. And your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he does not hear. It is so important to come to a place of repentance. To come to a place to admit, I have sin. Everybody lives in a sinful life. The moment you believe the lie of the enemy, as you bezig om nonsense aan te jaag, want you maak die deur oop dat hy kan instap. Die oomlik wat jy begin twyfel, dan raak jy klein geloofig. Wat sê die woord? Do not doubt my son, do not doubt my daughter, because I am here, I've got you, you're not alone, but we open the door sometimes just freely for the enemy to come in and make a table. Doesn't the Psalm 23 say for once, um, do not give the enemy a seat at your table. So while you are dining with Christ, and you are sitting with Christ at the table, you are having a relationship with Jesus, 
the enemy comes and he's taking a chair and says, hmm, who is it, bro? What are you that you doing it? That's what the enemy is doing. And he's calling you the names that you are used to before. Why? Because he wants to activate fear. He wants to activate your thoughts on things of the past so he can come and rule your life again. Yes. We are not supposed to open any door to the enemy. Because it becomes a small thing, a bigger thing, and before you know what happens, you go back to the world. Because the things of the world is much easier than to serve God. It's much easier to gossip and stand in the ring of the 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 the, the transport that slotted by English of word mess. That to say, you know what you are doing what is not right in the eyes of God. We're not supposed to speak about your brother and your sister. Doesn't the word say Psalm 115 verse 17, I think said, Do not touch my anointed ones, nor my prophets. My anointed ones is the people that are accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior. So yes, Jesus is in you, the Heilige Geest is in you, but I say the fullness, the fullness is inside of you. Amen. So if somebody is speaking against you, you should bless them, not curse them. But God has wrath on that person. Wrath is not for us. The wrath from us not to me, but God. And as we so genuinely come to our own hands to grab what us is not God. And the Lord says to us, "Allow me to fight your battles for you." Thank you, Lord. Doubt is one of the things I spoke a little bit about. Doubt. Doubt is standing between us and the promise of God. Seek the kingdom. We are doing it because we are having a relationship and the rest will be added. The rest cannot be added if you have things that is standing between you and him. The moment that you allow doubt to come in and doubt the word of God, I wonder if that so is, because it has not happened Nonsense. Even though you don't see it, you still need to believe it. It's like the wind. You don't see the wind, but you feel it. Mm. So I believe I felt the wind. Although I haven't seen it, and this is what we must do. We must glow. We must He said that we have a laziness. Ah, oh, the bad one is lekker. Lees jij your Bible? Ja, ik zit op my phone so af en toe klap om niet so, kijk niet so bykie. We are supposed to take the word of God and spend time with the word. Many people are telling me, I do not hear the voice of God. Why? They do not read. God is speaking through the scripture to you. Amen. Amen. The moment you read the scripture, you are getting full because your inner man sometimes is empty. And you need to fill your inner man, the inner being, with the word of God so the revelation can come from within. When you read it through the eyes, you will understand the word. You will get your answers there. It's necessary to do that, to put laziness aside. Say, Lord, I want to repent of laziness. Amen. Say, Lord. Lord, I want to repent. I want to repent of laziness. Of laziness. Please help me. Please help me to have a deeper, to have a deeper relationship with you. Relationship with you. And to read the word. And to read the word. And to have revelation. And to have revelation. And to understand. And to understand. Amen. 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 Many times we have an instability inside of us because today everything is fine. You la di da di da di da, and you're telling everybody about Jesus. The next morning you wake up and you think, oh, yeah, that's not for me. I'm just going to keep quiet. I'm just going to leave it there. So you are one time this and one time this and one day so and one day so. You can't go right and right to the line. You can't go right to the line. You need to walk straight and say, Father, yes, Lord. I want to walk straight with you. Yes, yes. I don't want any iniquities in my life. I don't want disappointment in my life. I repent of the lie of the enemy because he wants to take away obedience and he wants to bring the lie in. Obedience is to read the word. The lie is to unbelief. I don't believe. I doubt. I'm not good enough. We need to come to a place to know that God's yes is yes. <laughs> amen is amen. Number four, dive for Praise the year for that. <laughs> Even the phone is getting excited, you guys. It's jumping up and down. <laughs> many people have diseases. Um, many people have cancer. Many people have family that died of diseases. And sometimes we ask God uh, for healing. 
I want to give you a small testimony quickly. When my former husband, before, before he died, I was praying a lot. He had COVID-19 in 2020. He died on 7th of August. And I prayed. I said, please, God, save him. I've got people that prayed with me. And we, we trust God and we believe. I believe he's going to live because he's got, he's got promises. He's got a promise. Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. I decree it over his life. And sadly, he passed away. And for a moment, I was very cross. And God said, but still, that's my promise on his life. Because Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the plans I have for you. I didn't say in life. He's in eternal life now. He's not in the flesh, but he's got eternal life. So the promises of God is yes and amen. The promises of God is to stand firm. The promise of, of, of God is to, to, to have this security that whatever God says in his word, it's yes and amen. It's to the fullness of what he has created you. So we don't always have to do do it not. But we are not there to say this and that. If that is God's plan, then that disease or that sickness, if it's taking someone, and it's sad to say it, because we are flesh, we have got a heart, we love people. But if it's the will of God to use a disease to take somebody home, so, so that he can release you into another dimension with a testimony to still trust him, then it's also his will. Whatever is happening in your life, if it's high blood, sugar, cancer, whatever sickness, even sickness of alcoholic syndrome, sickness of people that's using drugs, because it's a sickness, but there's a spirit behind it. Even that. We need to stay focused and pray God. Say, Father, whatever the plan of you, your will over my life is, I submit to it. We are, we are quick to say, yo, chase the devil away. Resist the devil. But first, it's submission. Submission go with a relationship. To believe whatever God is giving in your life, whatever he's telling you to do, you need to know it's his will. And that is the perfect will. But you need to be at a place to say, Father, because I'm reading your word, I believe what you are telling me. Yes. I have the, 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 the peace that surpasses all mind. The freedom that all understand to boven gaan. What ook al my life gebeur. Maak nie saak nie. Ek weet eers en meer. Are you at that place? Well, last week I wasn't at that place. Because the devil was knocking at my door. But I decided to follow Jesus. Yes. I didn't Amen. sing, but I was on my way out to say I'm not going to do ministry anymore because of a lot of things that happened. But I decided to follow Jesus all the way. We are all human, but that's not an excuse because we've got the word of God to teach us. Does this make sense to you? Say amen. Stand yes. up yes. Just stand on your feet quickly. Look at your body. If I ask you something, but you need to be honest with yourself, you don't need to answer me. Do you think you are perfect? Are you happy with yourself? Totally. No, she's honest. She's not happy with the so I can stand here quickly. What do you want to change if you can change something? I want to change my life. I want to work. I want to job, nice job, change my life. My life is not right for now. Amen. You can sit, stand there. So you're not happy at this moment. So we are all have iniquities because we've got a shortcoming of the glory sometimes. A shortcoming of the glory is that thing that we are not happy with who we are, where we are, and how we look. For myself, you, I would like to lose about 15 k huh? Just tup, and it's off. So look at your body and say, body, today I'm speaking to you. You belong to Jesus. Spirit, I'm speaking to you. You belong to Jesus. Mind, I'm speaking to you. You belong to Jesus. So you spirit of iniquity, you are not my portion. I might not be who I want to be, but I'm satisfied. And I'm happy to know that I'm on my way to something greater. So you spirit of iniquity, 
right now, in my life, I decided to divorce you. You're not my portion. I pray to God that from now, everything which is not right will go. I repent today of my sins. I humble myself and I come before you and I ask you, change my heart. Look at my heart. Look at my kidneys. Look at my liver. Look at my body. Whatever is not from you, God, take it out. Today, I decide to look to you, to praise your name. It doesn't matter what the problem is. Sickness. Shortage of money. Father, we call it so much poverty. I'm finished. Father, I repent today that I have been believing the lie of Satan over my life for so long. He's been knocking at my door. He's been sitting at my table. But today, I give him an eviction order. I'm finished with you. There's only space for the Holy Spirit in my life, in my heart, in my body, in my mind. I pray Romans 12 verse 2. 12 verse 2. That I, put your hand here, that I am not conformed to this world. But I am renewed by my mind daily. From now on, that's my choice. I pray to you, God, that you break down every stronghold in my mind that's been building by my past, that you will take it out, that you will renew my mind, and that you will set it on your ways, which is the right way. Father, these feet of mine, direct them. This hand of mine, show them to do the right thing. This thought of mine, bind them, Father, unto your word. That's my choice today. Amen. You can be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. The problem with people today is... It's okay. The problem with people today is, I want to explain quickly to you, you don't know Jesus. Then you came to repentance, you give your heart to Jesus Christ, you repent of your sin. Then life happens, and life happens, things happen, and you're at a place in your life that you think you are okay, but you're not okay, because we have given legal ground to the enemy. And the best legal ground for the enemy is unforgiveness. Many people come and have been poisoned your mind poisoned your ways, poisoned your life and they have hurt you so much that you feel unforgiveness towards them. And that unforgiveness opens up the ground if you say, ach, ek wonder I'm so tired, I don't want to do this anymore. You are giving legal ground and you cannot be set free the scripture tells us who the son sets free is free indeed. Amen. But there's a condition you need to renounce. You need to repent. You need to release it and say, it's not my portion anymore. I'm teaching the girls and the people that it's not my monkey, not my cage, not my portion. I'm not going to take it. Ah, speak to the hand. I'm busy. Go, go. I'm busy with God's stuff. Why? If he is knocking at your door and tells you you are not good enough, you will never have a work. You say, aha, you are under my feet, Satan. Amen. You are under yes. my feet. God has shown us earlier the church has left the building. So we do not believe in religion. Religion tells you you must this and you must this and you must yes, this and you must yes, this. Yes. And if you don't do this, this is going to happen. Religion tells you you're not good enough. Religion makes that people are standing up against one another. Preachers are preaching against one another. That's religion. Yes. We are not religion. We are children of God and that makes us very blessed. Amen. 
and we have the honor to say, Father, I'm not going to allow anything further to disrupt my relationship with you, to come between you and me. I'm making time for you so that when everything is in order, Father, I want to know that when I die now, I'm going to be in heaven. Hallelujah. That my case is okay. Not that when I die, I'm going to be in fire. You're not supposed to, to serve God to say, I don't want to be in fire. Nee, Jolande, ons kan nie sê, ons wil nie dood gaan, ons wil dood, ons wil nie hel toe gaan nie, want ons gaan brand. Nee, you need to have a hunger for Jesus. You need to know that when you die, it's not about heaven, it's about Jesus. It's about a relationship with the living God, and that is why you will see Him one day. And then He said, if, my child, if you just speak to me, and I can help you, and you follow me, and you do what is right, and you do what the word is teaching you, want I say, geloof sonder die werke is nutteloos, yes. but works alone is not going to get you into heaven, and, and, and faith alone, you need works to help you boost your faith, because the two is walking hand in hand, yes, yes. and you need it so that you can walk further and further, and then God will say, I'm going to bless that child of me, mine, because she's obedient, I'm going to bless my son, because he's been praying for a case for four years, and the season is right, the time is right, because if I had given it to him two years before, then so did not nonsense geweest it. But today the time is right. And then the blessing is coming. And you can use the blessing to be a blessing to others. Yes. And even if it's just a testimony, that's also a blessing. But the problem with us is today that when the, the enemy comes like a flood, we forgot what the rest of the scripture says. God himself says, I will rise up a standard against them. Amen. So when the enemy comes like a flood, like it used to, to be in my own life for this last few weeks, and I was about down and out, and I was struggling to get up. As I, if I'm getting up, it feels like it's hitting me again, and then I'm struggling and up and down and up and down, but still I decided I will, I will go on preaching the word because I haven't lost my faith. I just lost, lost a little bit of myself. And God said, I will restore you to the righteous place I want you to be. So for you that is sitting there, you need to believe that God will restore you, but you need to forgive. You need to forgive yourself and put yourself aside and say, Father, I'm going to serve you. I'm going to walk with you. I'm going to do what is right in the eyes of God. Doesn't matter what people say. Doesn't matter how many stones they are throwing. Like Peter. He was stoppel. He was stoned to the wafel. Like I'm Peter. He was stunned. And after he was stunned, they dragged him out of the city and lost him. Say, yeah, he's now dead. But he wasn't dead. God resurrected him and he stand up and he said, I'm going to go to the next place. He was bruised. He was hurt. He was bleeding. He was tired. He, he must have think by myself, or himself, yeah, it's so painful. Mm. But I must bring mm. the word. Yes. I cannot see, Father, I've got only one eye. The other one is so bruised. And mm. just a bit, but please help me, help me. To preach the word because the truth shall set you free. Amen. Yes. Whatever is meant for your harm, God will turn for good. Yes. Every darkness and every hidden agenda of the enemy and of people's voices and speeches around you, with you, about you, the darkness will come into the light. And when the light is shining on it, they need to repent to be also at a place to be saved. Otherwise, God's wrath is going to be on them. If you touch my anointed ones, God's wrath is going to be on me. But the problem is, we need to remember. We need a deeper relationship. We need Jesus. Amen. Say with me. We need Jesus. 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 That's the way and that's the spirit because our son is gone, we for the evangelion. If God has planted something in your heart to tell somebody, you do it. Rather be obedient than disobedient because yes, because Lord. of disobedience, Adam and Eve have sinned. Yes. Lekker appels geëet, die mense. Kijk waar sit hulle vandag. <laughs> so we need to be obedient. Yes, Lord. Maak nie saak wat die wereld sê nie. Sissa, maak nie saak wat die wereld sê nie. The thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. There's not a point, there's a comma. But God. Amen. But God came to give life and life in, in abundance. abundance. Yes, Lord. Does it mean a happy ever after? Only if you have walked the walk of righteousness. As jij die heilig making strewe, waar sonder niemand die eeuwigheid kan ingaan nie. 
and you come to a place and you walk into the everlasting after with God sitting on the throne. I think it must be the most best beautiful picture just to see it in heaven and to experience it. But we need to get there. So tonight, religion is not an option. Jesus is the option. Yes, Lord. The building is not the option because the church has left the building. Staying down is not an option. Unbelief is not an option. Belief is an option. But God. I do not have a work now. Father, look at me, lady. You might not have a work now. But in the name of Jesus, we call on the people that has got your CV. The right door shall open and shall give you a space to work. We decree it and declare it over your life in Jesus' name. Come here. Come, come, come. Come, come. Thank you, Father, that we bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that your power come upon her. Release the anointing right now. Father, Jesus, touch her. Touch her. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Bless her. Bless her, Father. We break every curse of her life right now that she shall have a month, more than enough and that abundance in body, mind, and soul shall come, Father. And I pray that the spirit man will be awakened and to receive more of Jesus right now. Thank you, Father. She shall have. She shall have. This is a testimony. You will see it. You will see it. Thank you, Father. I pray that everybody that has a heart condition, everybody that has sugar, everybody that has illness in their life, illness doesn't matter, even if it's just your big toe. Father, we speak healing, restoration, in Jesus' mighty name. The other voice that was a poor means, there's a few people that's got a hardened heart, a verharte heart. And I want to tell you tonight, God says, just give it to me. I will soften it with my love. You have closed yourself and yet you're too gemaakt, want jy wil nie meer seer kry nie. Die Heere sê, gee dit vir my. I will fight your battle. Be still and know that I'm God. The time is short. We cannot, sp- we cannot play with the time of God. Mm. The time is short. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray over everybody here that you touch them. I pray that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will fill them. I pray, Father, your blessings. Every curse that's been spoken over their lives, I pray, Father, that you shall turn it into a blessing. I pray, Father, what every hindering the, the enemy and the devil has put there, Father, that it will turn into not only a blessing, but the hindering spirit will disappear. It will be dismantled. It will be a speck of dust that will mean nothing. Every barrier that's been building around you through things of the past, I pray, Father God, break it right now in Jesus' name. Every spirit, Father, that's been attacking their mind, your spirit of mind control, that's been lingering around my people, says the Lord, I command you to leave right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, that you touch them, that you wash them with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. And I pray that the Holy Spirit come and fill them. Fill them afresh. Fresh, Lord. The fire of God. Touch them. Touch their feet. The foot of the Evangelie roep die Heere vanavond uit. Hy sê, hier is mense wat geroep is, maar wat stil sit. It's time to move, says the Lord. It's time to move for the Spirit of God is on you to proclaim the good news. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I pray. I pray that whoever needs to be ministered to Father, that they will come to the front, that we can pray with them. I pray, Father, whoever is sitting and feels maybe a little bit shy, that you will take the shyness away, Father, but that you will bless them with your spirit, a fresh new ending, a freshness, Father. Father, whatever has happened in the past, it's gone, it's finished. If we go home, we do not take it back. That old cast is rotten, Father, we don't want it. But we pray, Father, that your freshness will come and touch each and every one here. We all have a testimony. But thank God we've got a Jesus. Thank God we've got a Holy Spirit. And I pray, Lord, every disability in the finances that's been crooked for so long, your spirit of poverty, in the name of Jesus, I bind your works and I command you to leave right now. In 
Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The spirit of wonder. God shows me there's a spirit of wonder that when you're always wondering why things happen. Who come? Who come? Who come? It's a spirit behind it. Father, thank you that you break the power of the spirit of wonder, the spirit of Hukum and Afrikaans, that you will break it, Father, break it, dismantle it, and nullify it in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that I can praise your name. Thank you, Lord. Father, Yesaya says, verse 8, before witnesses tonight, I melt on for I'm not backing down. And I believe that my brothers and my sisters are with me. We're not backing down. We're pushing forward. Even in the storm, we will walk on the water with you. If the rocks is there, Father, we're pushing through. If the lightning is coming, Father, we trust you to take it away. Hy het vernag in die skade van die allerhoogste, sê by Salme 91. That's the epic hazel power. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead. That strong power. If we stand under that power, we are protected, Father. And we choose to stay under the covering of God himself. Father, touch each and every one in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let's give him a clap. And now I'm going to teach you something. You must tell it, say it with me. Say it a bit so much, man. Yeah, my English is poor, but it's okay. See, God is good. God is good. And the devil is a liar. And that's it, does it? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Cesar. Hallelujah. Let's give God another hand. <laughs> Amen. Who enjoyed it here tonight? You know what? We could have been home now watching Seven the no, Seven the is not on anymore. <laughs> we could have been home now watching Deep Waters of what we call. Could ons now have yes it? But ons het gekies om op een woensdag aan die te wees het, sê Jesus, hier is die aand. Dis waar ek wil wees. Ons kon nou een warm dag binnen ons bed gelee. Ons sê, Heere Jesus, ons het die lief. En ons wil daar wees. Ons wil die blessings kom kry wat Karin vanavond van gepraat het. So ek bid dat elk een van julle sommer uit julle sokkies uitgeseen is. Ek sê ons van julle wat in die skoene uitgeblees is al. Um, maar ons wil nie daar stop nie ons wil vir jou vraag as jy so sit vanavond en jy weet vir een feit jou leven is nie recht met Jesus Christus nie dan wil ons jou na voren te roep en dan gaan my vrou vraag om vir ons een song op te sit en so en gaan jou vraag om na voren te kom en ons wil vir jou bed ons wil saam met jou bed So as it is that jy daar ook siek is, ons wil vir jou bid. As it is that jy, dat die Heere Jezus in jou leven nodig het, as jy deurbraak is soek in jou leven, ons koning Jezus is die antwoord vanavond. So ons, ons, ons nooi om naar voren toe te kom, as jy die opverwoord